Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 28th of 2024 is titled Pluto in True Color. So what do we see here? Well, we've seen hopefully lots of pictures of Pluto over the last almost decade now since the New Horizons spacecraft zipped by Pluto back in 2015. And in July 2015, we started seeing a lot of pictures of Pluto and learning more about this dwarf planet on the outskirts of our solar system. And here we see it in true color. So this is what the human eye would actually see. So trying to process that together takes a little bit of work to actually get what the human eye would see. So if you were traveling out to Pluto, this is about what you would see with it. So we see some very dark regions and we see some very light regions. So there's very two different types of terrain there. And even within those we see the one area very, very smooth and very light colored. And that is very low number of craters, almost no craters in that area, meaning that it's relatively recent. Just nearby in some part of the darker area, we see a lot of craters. Heavily cratered areas are much older. They've been around and exposed to space for a much longer period of time, allowing those impacts to build up. So this is how we know how old things are in space without actually getting a sample. We can still look at this and say exactly that the those darker colored regions with a lot of craters are older. They've been around a longer time, whereas the light colored region that is very smooth has been resurfaced and reworked with material much more recently. Now, what is Pluto made of? Well, much of that very smooth area is actually frozen nitrogen. So nitrogen, which makes up most of our atmosphere here on Earth at the temperatures of Pluto is will freeze out and actually will form an icy surface. And that's what we're actually seeing in that very smooth region is frozen nitrogen. Now, Pluto also has a very thin atmosphere, which is also made up of nitrogen. So it's still to the point where you can have some of that nitrogen as a gas and still have some of it frozen out as well. So really what we see on all of this surface are various different types of ice from nitrogen to methane and even water ice that would be present here. So while we may look at it and our minds may tell us this sure looks like it's made up of rock. In reality it is not when we look at things in the outer solar system we really see that they are very icy and made up of frozen materials. Now is there rock on Pluto? Yes, there probably is. It's way down below the surface and nothing we will ever see. There is probably a rocky core down toward the bottom, which occurs when a planet or, or dwarf planet forms and then melts. So the lighter materials rise to the surface. That would be the icy material and the denser materials such as rock or metal sink down to the core. Now the same thing has happened here on Earth and has likely happened on Pluto as well, giving it a, a rocky core with a surrounding mantle and crust made primarily of ice. And here we get to see those kind of brownish colors, various shades of brown that make up how we would see Pluto with our own eyes if we were to travel out to this distant dwarf planet. So that was our picture of the day for January 28th of 2024. It was titled Pluto in true color. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be stars versus dust. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.